Okay, I'm going to do another problem with the factor and remainder theorem. I'm going to do page 357, number 49. And that number, that, those directions is given one zero of the polynomial function, find the other zeros. Alright, now with the conversations that we've had in class, let's look at this. Zeros means x-intercept. That's the same thing as an x-intercept. If you have the function y equals 2x to the third plus 3x squared minus 39x minus 20, then you know that I have to be able to represent three x-intercepts in this problem. What this problem does is it gives you one. Now, it gives you one x-intercept, which is 4. Okay. So what's going to happen, and with the remainder theorem, you should know what happens at this point. If 4 is an x-intercept, and I synthetically substitute into these problems, then I know in this box I have to get a 0. If this is an x-intercept, I have to get 0 down here. Now this is also the process of synthetic, sub or synthetic division. So at the same time when I'm doing this and I do this process, then what I'm actually doing, I'll put it in a little thought bubble over here, I'm doing 2x to the third plus 3x squared minus 39x minus 20. I'm taking that and I'm dividing it by a factor of x minus 4. Now why do I switch that? Because if x minus 4 was a factor, then I would get 4 as that x-intercept. So that's in my little thought bubble over there. We're doing the same thing, it's just we're not calling it the same thing at the very beginning. So what happens here if I do the process of dropping that down and multiplying and adding and multiplying and it's going to be 5, I get 0 there, which is what we knew would happen because the problem told us that was an x-intercept to begin with. So what this means is in this little thought bubble over here, since I actually did this, this answer means that I have two, and if you remember from the previous, one of the videos, since this began as a three, and I took this out of it, these start with x squared. And then I'll just continue to drop from there. So the answer to this problem is this. What this means is that y equals 2x to the third plus 3x squared minus 39x minus 20. That's equivalent to saying this times this. That helps me answer this problem, answer this question, because if I'm trying to find the x-intercepts, I'm going to set this equal to zero. And you know now to set both of those equal to zero and solve for x. That will give you the x-intercepts. Now this one is one that we already have. That's the one that I started with. This one, I'm going to have to work a little bit longer on this. Because this is a quadratic. There's three ways to solve a quadratic when I have it set equal to a number. Factoring, quadratic formula, and using square roots. I can't use square roots here because there's two visible x's, so I can't isolate that variable. So what I could try to do is factor, which is what probably most of us are going to try first. This one's easy, but easier because this is a prime number and this is a prime number, so there's only a few options that I have to test here. 2x and x are my only options there. To get a 5, I can only put 1s and 5s here, a 1 and a 5 here. Students, just a reminder, lunches are based on second block today. So anyone who has left lunch, please, first or second, check your schedule. It's based on your second block. Sorry about that. So I'm going to put a 5 or a 1 or a, one, or a 5 and a 1. Now think about this. I have to get 11 here. So multiplying this times this and this times this is what's going to happen. So I need a 5 there and a 1 there. This needs to be a plus 5, so I want to put pluses here. Or I could put minuses, but since I need a positive 11x, 
and those just work out to be one and eight. So then if this is set equal to zero, I set each one of those factors equal to zero, and now I can solve. This one I'm going to subtract one, and then divide by negative or divide by two, and here I'm going to just subtract five. So the two x-intercepts that I'm missing are these two. Remember they gave me that third one. I'm supposed to be able to represent three x-intercepts. Here is the first one, which visually would mean I cross the x-axis at four. And here are the, the other two. So I cross at negative five and negative half. Just drawing a sketch here to show you the visual representation of this. This is a positive leading coefficient with an odd degree. So my end behaviors go like this. You can't see that all screwed over. It goes like this. So I have to touch all of those. 